Hey guys, what's up? Synergy here, and we're bringing you yet another brand new video. I've been banging these out for all my subscribers. Do appreciate every single one of you, so thank you for watching my videos. Um, we're go basically going to get into this gameplay for you. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to show you exactly what I do. As you can see, I've called in the Titan card, and this is basically a flawless 16 to 0 gameplay. But I'm not just literally just running around in my Titan, I am actually playing the objective as well. Um, we were playing for fun, but we were also playing to win at the same time. So obviously, my teammates are basically going to be working on the B side. See this guy trying to rodeo me? Fortunately, I had to reload, so I actually called upon my team just to take him out. There's a guy actually in here, as you can see, I just headshot him and he never got taken out. Look in this window, and boom, there you go, I knew that was coming. Right, so, that was a bit predictable, that. What I've had to do on this gameplay, guys, is completely lower the game volume. Um, the reason being is I was actually testing out how to record party chat and everything, so you'd be able to actually hear me as well as my teammates as we're playing the game, give it a little bit more fun for you. Unfortunately, it didn't work out on me Elgato, um, it turns out that I'm going to end up needing some adapters and stuff like that, so that might take me a while to get guys, so obviously just bear with me uh, with it. And I will be bringing you out daily content, and it will be insane for you, in the membrane. Dun 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 Remember that song? Okay, so I'm sort of distracting myself, because I can hear my, uh, um, my voice randomly throughout this video. And what actually happened is, because I got a headset plugged into my PC, but obviously it doesn't have an Xbox One adapter, that's what I use to record over Audacity. You know, just for commentating. And with the commentating, you can see I pick up a nice double kill there, but as I was saying, with the commentating, um, it's one of those, I've got to count the seconds and everything and then start commentating, otherwise everything ends up out of sync, which is, you get used to it after a while, but it is pretty damn annoying at first. Okay, so this is an 8 minute video for you guys, and it's just a basic domination gameplay, and obviously you're going to see... Stuff like me getting hit off this guy who was clinging in a tree. Pretty well played of him. And then he goes to uh, stealth mode here. And how many hits can this guy take? And it's just like he was invincible for a second there. Right, so we are moving on. So you can see we're basically holding A and B at the minute. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up going over to C. But I know C is going to have the spawn points there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sit here for a second. Have a look through. And just wait, because I know they're going to come that way. It's 100% positive. And as you see just here, Titan got in my way. But luckily I just pick up that kill and get a nice double kill there. Uh, it would have been a lot easier if that Titan wasn't was directly in the line of my fire. And here we go. Okay, so you can see that guy just got taken out by one of our players as well. I'm not actually with a full party on my team at the moment, but we are holding two flags constantly. So it's a bit of a longer gameplay, considering it is campaign mode, this one, guys. But like I said, it's a flawless 16 to nil, and I just thought I'd show you exactly how I did it. And just basically... A bit of the fun that you can have while playing Titanfall as well. Um, obviously, I'm looking forward to the new game types that are coming out as well. This game type called Mark for Death. I think that's going to be hilarious. Hopefully, it lives up to its name. And it does sound like a bit of COD infected as well. You can see me crush that guy. Now, the reason I actually threw the smoke down there is basically I had a pilot locking on me. If you throw the smoke down and he's behind that smoke, he's no longer able to get the lock on. Fortunately, this guy ends up in cloak mode, so I'm not sure where he landed there. Couldn't see him at all. Pilot locking again. Just coming over here, we see another pilot. We're just going to place the cluster in there and pick up that kill. Right, we are halfway through, guys. Right, so as we come around to here, the idea of them having A is just basically sit around this part and spawn trap. Spawn trapping is a pretty sucky way in the game, but if you've got a good enough team to do it, you can do it quite effectively, to be honest with you. 
and I believe this is where my titan starts taking quite a bit of damage after I pick up a few more kills. There was one titan that absolutely destroyed my titan. And unfortunately I just didn't have the weapon to take him down. There you go, it brings out the shield so we know he has some sort of idea of knowing what he's doing. Gonna move around the backside now. There you go, just trying to bring his shields down. Unfortunately he's got the multi-target missiles which is completely and utterly destroying my strider. And we actually get taken out on that one. Okay, so you can see he's on low health at the minute. Now this guy's actually playing quite smart, to be honest. As you see here, I go in for the charge rifle, and then he ends up just hiding straight under here. I try and get a charge rifle cheeky hit there, but one of our team just ends up racking him up. Um, just call for a bit of backup on that one, just to make sure we took that Titan down. Now we're always in or around this general area, so all I'm going to be doing here is basically stalking him out. Yeah, there's a cluster missile here, so I know he's not going to be directly there. As I turn around, we end up picking up yet another human kill. We are red marked at the minute. And bearing in mind, this human will know where I am at the minute. All I'm doing is just waiting, waiting, trying to cap, just checking the armor, checking the surroundings and everything like that. You never want to just look completely straightforward, guys, and you do want to switch up your positions as well. Because if they've killed you in one, pl uh, if you've killed them in one place before, they'll be looking that place for you again. Right, so we are moving on, and all I'm going to do here is just basically take out the Titan as you would do. I realise like it's an auto Titan, so we'll just check back inside, and then I go back to him, and we'll take the Titan out this time for it. We've brought our Titan in again. Here we go. And we're on 399, so that's obviously the victory there. There you go, guys. You can see 16 for nil. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe my videos. If you like my content, just give me a shout out, something like that. Just tell your friends about it. Maybe they'll like it as well. It's one of those guys, I do it for fun, I do it for you. So I hope you can respect that as well. And I do love every one of my subscribers, guys. Every single one. For giving me so much support over the past months. Now, interestingly enough, I've actually had a few random inboxes. People have been offering me sponsorships and stuff like that. I've never heard of them in specific, so if you have heard of them, something like a double layer CPM, I'm not even sure what that means, to be honest with you. The money side of it's not important to me. I actually do this for the game inside. Um, the money side's literally just to get a headset, because obviously my headset sucks ass. <laughs> Alright guys, so that's the end of the film. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe.